hello and welcome you are watching tech tube in this video i'm going to show you how to download and install php on microsoft windows 10 and then set it to the systems path so that you can execute php from anywhere on your computer the other thing if your system is not windows 10 it's 7 8 xp vista you should still be able to follow the video instruction and install php on your system the other thing you need to know your system type so you can press the windows key on the keyboard and on the right top you have pause break button so if you press both keys together windows and break button you should have this um, windows that you have in my case windows 10 and then system type which is 64 bit all right so now i know i've got windows 10 and 64 bit system type i will go ahead and download php for my system type and install it so go ahead and launch your preferred browser i'm going to use google chrome and then go to php.net hit enter and here you can see you can go to downloads this is the latest release on 16th april 2020 so go ahead and click on this download sorry downloads button and for microsoft windows you will have to click this button windows downloads if you're looking for the changes that happened or things that have been deprecated and things that have been Mm. improved you can go ahead and check by clicking this change log you can check everything you can read everything these are these are all basically extensions all right so now let's go ahead and click on this windows download to download php 7.4.6 now so there are two types of downloads this is not recommended non-thread safe this is what is recommended so you will have to download thread safe either 64 bit or 32 bit which is here so again make sure you have checked your system type mine is 64 bit you can see so i'll go ahead and download the 64 bit thread safe php zip folder if it's 32 bit go ahead and click this link to download php 7.4.6 32 bit i'm going to download a thread safe zip folder here now it did not take long time on my system it may take a bit longer on your system okay so now once it's downloaded go ahead and locate the folder if you're using google chrome you can follow my instructions here and just click on it and go to show in folder since it's still completing the download it won't open you can pause the video and then follow the instruction once your downloads complete show in the folder you can see this is what it downloaded so I already have one just I can go ahead and remove them yellow 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 here you can see so what you have to do after you've downloaded it you have to extract it so go ahead and right click extract all and then hit extract this will take a bit longer if you have some extractor software like i've got 7zip i did not use it I'm not sure if everybody has it so this is why I'm using this inbuilt extractor so this is what it has extracted to now now what you have to do you have to copy this folder so right click and copy it and go ahead and get into where whatever drive you want to put this in so I'm going to put this in here C under C drive going to paste it over so it's going to take time 
10 almost done so seems to be a bit, bit slower it's AMD based system so it, it is a bit, bit slower than the indexed sorry in uh, Intel yeah Intel CPUs when it comes to executing things otherwise it is good for graphics so I just renamed it to PHP 746 okay and this is what we have here so once you have pasted that folder in your desired drive renamed it to whatever you want you just go ahead and open it and locate this php dot ini hyphen development copy it and just paste in the same folder and then rename it just right click on it and go to rename now you have to rename it php dot ini and then we will quickly make one change in this file and then hit enter so make sure it's php.ini hit enter here you have to say yes and now we will open this okay you can use any text editor or just the notepad I'm going to use this uh, sublime text is a bit lighter than the VS code And what you have to locate is basically extensions directory that needs to be uncommented. Oops. So. Hmm. So this is for Windows. You can see here you have to just uncomment it. And then save it. And that's all you have to do. So it's somewhere on 757, line number 757. And that's all. You can also go ahead and uncomment few of the extensions whenever you need these extensions, okay? This is just a demonstration, so I'm going to just make minimal change. Now I can go ahead and close it. And if I go ahead and check now my command prompt would not be able to recognize PHP it will give me an error so this means PHP is not set to the systems path and now we need to go ahead and set this to system path so go to C drive locate your PHP folder open it and copy this location path PHP folder location path just copy it and if you're using Windows 10 go ahead and click on the start menu type variable if you're using Windows 7 Vista or XP or 8 go ahead and go to control panel system and then system properties on this window here you go to advanced tab and then go to environment variables select this path just click on it and hit edit then you say new paste that PHP folder location path hit ok hit ok hit ok now if you go ahead and type PHP it's not going to recognize it because we need to restart the command prompt so go ahead and close it and relaunch it now if you say PHP Oops, version it's going to give you the PHP that we have just installed and set to the systems path so PHP 7.4.6 CLI this was built on May the 12th 2020 that's the time okay let me quickly go ahead and get on to this desktop and create a folder make DIR PHP box and get into php box that's what it did it just created this folder and now we're trying to get in in this folder 
and once you are here go ahead and open this in your favorite code editor I'm going to use code I can also go ahead and use sublime text okay so this is going to open this in sublime text so I like coding PHP in sublime text okay and then I'm going to create a file I'm going to name it index.php and then and this is the reason why I love PHP uh, sorry sublime text for PHP PHP info that's it now what I can do you will have to navigate to this folder wherever it is in your command prompt and then you can use PHP's inbuilt development server like this in uppercase s so say php on um, colon uppercase s the location the localhost 01 and then i can go ahead and give a port number so i'm going to give 80 so it's going to be available on localhost okay I'll leave this download link in the description below so you can get it from there directly and then if I go to localhost 80 I should have this PHP running all right so you can see this PHP is working on this system and so that's it for this video if you have any questions suggestion leave in the comment below please do not forget to subscribe to my channel that would be a great help and do not forget to like share and subscribe again to my channel that's it thank you happy coding bye for now